heard stories of our team in Mariupol, down in the southeast. That city is currently surrounded. And uh, again, we have been asking them to shelter in place. Communications has been spotty with the team. Uh, they've lost electricity. They've lost water services. This is video taken from inside Ukraine as humanitarian groups, including the International Medical Corps, are working to ensure there's medicine and supplies to treat the wounded. Todd Bernhardt is the director of global communications for the Los Angeles-based International Medical Corps. He says this is the plan his nonprofit has followed since it was first formed after the old Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. So right now, what we are doing is working with ho hospitals and primary health care centers to find out what they need. Our model is to go into a country and to work with the existing healthcare infrastructure and to strengthen it, uh, fill gaps that they find are, are there, and um, then to provide additional support. And that support can come in the form of doctors and nurses. But right now, there are dozens of their workers who are part of mobile medical units who are out in the field. Our team down in the southeast of the country had been working through mobile medical units. So they've been going out to villages along the line of contact, uh, helping people who are affected by war and providing a wide range of medical and mental health services. Bernhardt tells 3 News that his nonprofit will be in that country for as long as it takes to ensure that the people there will have the medicine and supplies they need until some kind of peace can be found in that country once again. Michael Gibson, 3 News.